All right, so lately it has become very popular to stream games online. As you can see on this website, twitch.tv, there are hundreds of different streamers, and you know some really popular streamers have thousands of viewers. So a lot of people are probably interested in trying to uh, stream just either for fun or they want to get a fan base or they want to educate people. Whatever the case may be, um, this video will try to explain how you can do this. So basically, uh, one of the most important things when you're trying to stream is your computer. And you don't really need to have a top-of-the-line machine to necessarily stream decent quality or good quality. In general, the kind of uh, rule of thumb is you want to have at least a quad-core processor. And the faster your uh, processor is, the higher quality your stream will be, um, in theory. But a lot of the quality actually comes down to what settings you are using and what's your internet connection. And um, basically, just if you have a top-of-the-line computer doesn't necessarily mean you'll have a higher quality stream than someone with an average computer if uh, you don't know what you're doing. So I wouldn't necessarily put any kind of limitations on what you need to have to stream. Um, if you have a really bad computer, your quality is probably going to be pretty low, and I'm not sure if people will want to watch it. But you can at least give it a try. It's free. And, uh, yeah, just have fun with it. So um, you also need to test your Internet speed. Um, so I'm at speedtest.net, and I'm going to begin the test. And uh, you really need to test your internet speed just to see what you're working with. You want to have a high upload speed so that you can uh, really um, del deliver the highest uh, possible bit rate to your viewers. So let's see what we get here. Um, okay, so it looks like... We have a download speed of 23 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 3.5 megabytes per second, about. Um, that's good, but this is a local server. You're going to want to test in a server that's further away. That way you have a more uh, realistic result. So let's go to uh, Manchester whatever it doesn't really matter but basically you want to test um, a server that's at least like across the country or something because everyone watching isn't going to be uh, you know right next door so you want to have a little bit better uh, idea of how your internet connection is doing in a realistic setting Alright, so as we can see, the download speed has gone down quite significantly, but the upload speed actually went up. It's almost 4 megabyte per second upload, and that's pretty good. Um, you probably want to have, ideally you want to have at least uh, probably 2 megabyte um, per second upload speed, or you won't really be able to have uh, as many options as far as your uh, bit rate for your uh, high quality streaming. So that's good to know. Just make a note of your upload speed because you're going to use that later when you are uh, messing around with a Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder. So the next thing you need is VH Screen Capture, which basically what it does is it captures your screen. Now you can use different screen capture programs, but um, I really haven't tried any of them out, and this one is free. And as you can see, if you type it in Google, it's the first result and uh, you can download a free uh, version of it. So you do that, and once you get it, this is what it looks like once you get inside. Um, this can really mess people up. It seems like a lot of people kind of get confused with how to set this up, and I'll admit it took me a little while to get used to it. But basically it's pretty simple. Um, you want to set the width and height or height to your resolution on your screen. So for me it's 1920 width and 1080 height, which is a 16 to 9 ratio. Um, and 
I just leave all this stuff alone. I just do track screen, and that's uh, basically just telling it to uh, record whatever's on your screen. With the settings, um, you want to have align video and show mouse ticked. And that's about it. And then you set your frame rate. Uh, you really don't have to mess around with all this stuff. Um, especially I see a lot of people say that the uh, screen capture is following their mouse and that's probably because they have track mouse clicked right here. So don't do that unless you want it to do that. Um, but basically, yeah, um, at least in my setup, all you have to do is set your resolution for uh, the width and height, track screen ticked, align video ticked, show mouse ticked, and you can set your frame rate. If you're dealing, or if you have a really good uh, computer, you can probably set it to like 60. But for me, uh, I have it at 15. And yeah, that's how you set up VH screen capture. And then you need to get Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder, which is the encoder I use. Um, so if you type that in Google, once again, it's the first result, and you can download it for free. The last thing you need is a justin.tv account, which is also free. You just go to justin.tv, sign up. Um, I think it only takes like a minute or two. And then when you log in, you'll come to this page. So a lot of people probably get confused here. They're like, okay, how do I stream? They click video game. And then it brings them to some stuff that's like, I don't know. You don't need this. Um, I guess they have some kind of affiliation with Dino or something. I'm not sure. But what you do, so if you click on video games, ignore all this, and then click on other. And what you do is, well, you already should have downloaded Flash Media Encoder, so you don't need that. But the configuration file, this is what you need. So what you do is you click on that. And my computer is lagging a little bit. But, okay, there we go. So you click on that, and it will uh, bring up this file. And what you do is you save it in an obvious location. 